StarGB's application engineers were tasked with creating something for their open house as a giveaway. Let's see what they came up with. Chaz, you yes. had this task. Yes, It's been a success. Yeah, I, I think it has, yes. So what was the original task that you had to provide? Basically, our manager came up to us and said, we need to make a part that is going to be useful um, to an engineer in the workshop or at home, um, and something that is not just going to sit there as a, a paperweight but it's also made on Star Machines. Yes, everything's made on Star Machines. Yeah. Okay, so what's the first stage? Well, first stage would be to get the brief. So the brief was to get a, a component ready that could be used by engineers or somebody, whoever we give it to, our customers. Uh, we then went to the design stage where we, uh, sorry, the concept stage where we made different sketches, different um, um, mechanisms to, to work as the ratchet. Um, we then selected that one of the concepts, we then went through to the design stage where we then uh, proved it out in uh, a CAD CAM package to, to actually make sure it worked uh, in principle. Um, once we've made that um, decision and once we selected the process, we then made a prototype to make sure that all the components fitted and worked together seamlessly. Once that was done, we then went to manufacture and uh, made all the parts on our machine. And the rest is history and yeah, everyone's really yeah. happy. Well, I mean, it has gone down. Well, well. It has, it really has. Right, let's go back to that first element of uh, what, what other products were in the mix what you were thinking about, but was it always a screwdriver? No. It, it, it was something that had mechanical movement. Mm. We're mechanical engineers, you know, we make parts that fit together and make things and, and do things. So, and this was the sort of like, a, just, just the stage that we needed to get to, you know, and uh, make a part that worked functionally, mm -hmm. you know, moved, operated correctly the way an engineer would have it working. Okay, any challenges that you faced? And kind of talk me through all of the components. Um, yeah, I mean the 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 part that we made for the 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 end cap. Um, this was we wanted to make it a bit timeless, so we put all these features: the um, the shaving of the the splines, mm. and this was to almost represent a watch face, so it would be timeless. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. A bit <laughs> of style in there. Next up. Next one was the the lever. Um, so this lever actuates the ratchets. Right. And basically the initial design, it, it uh, fouled on both levers. We operated it one way and it would foul. So we had to redesign that and um, make it so that only one lever, uh, one ratchet lifted up. At, so uh, it wasn't, any, yes, left or right, that, for example. Correct, lefty, yeah. loosey, righty, tighty. That's the one. Remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> and the next components? Um, just the nut as well. You know, we, the, the machine actually, dictated which way we were going to make that um, component. It's not nothing to it really, but in the process it had to lock in place and also we had to shave the uh, the broaching in there as well. Okay, so it's really showing the di like the, the diversity and, and of each machine and what it's yeah. relative to. Yeah. And what's this component here then? This is the actual spline. This is the uh, the part that holds the the um, uh, the screwdriver bit in there. Um, and it had to make made in one piece, and then again we've got all the the detail for where the ratchets catch on to. Yes. And the angular position of all of these were really important. If you got it out by a couple of degrees, it wouldn't work. Right. Yeah. Wow. I love this. And then this, obviously, where, where does this go? This goes right mm, on. That holds all the mechanism in place. Yes. Um, again, we we came up with a design that had no lugs on there, um, and it meant that the the the, the cap would rotate, right. so it might not sit correctly. Right. Um, I see, yes. Yeah, so we then put some lugs on and uh, designed the handle with the lugs on there as well. So it stays so in place. So it stays in place and holds 
the, uh, the lever which is acting as an axle. So both of these sides act as an axle when it fits together. So I can hear subtly that there were some challenges along the way. Yeah, there were, there were. Can you tell me a couple of those? Um, Beyond what you've said. Just making sure that they all fit together <laughs> within that. the tolerances that um, I designed it to. Because if any part was out of um, sort of design tolerance, the, the mechanism won't work. Doesn't work. No. You're proud of this? Very. You should be. <laughs> And it has been a real success, hasn't it? Yeah, everybody's enjoyed it. Yeah. Everybody's enjoyed it, so it's been good. It's a good, good challenge. Do you love what you do and why? Absolutely. Um, we make parts, you know. Um, I'm in a bit of a unique situation where you can pass on this knowledge now to all the, the younger guys that are coming forward. Uh, whatever I know, I'll pass it on. It's, yeah. um, it's not a lot, but um, <laughs> it's it works. It's a passion. Yeah, it is. Thank you, chat. Thank you.